howdy. This time I'm looking at one of the movie constructor cons, Rampage. So far he's the only one of the group that's a deluxe. His alt form is a bulldozer, appropriate for a constructor con, not so appropriate for his actual name. Now this mode looks pretty good. Whatever model it's based on, there's some nice mod details all over. And these, which I believe are called rippers, add some evilness too. The colours are somewhat dull, but bulldozers aren't meant to be vibrant anyway. However, the black cockpit with red windows continues to give it a sinister feel. There isn't much in the way of paint apps, except on the shovel, there's bars, and the grill. The treads don't move due to the transformation, but he rolls along on four wheels underneath. On the other hand, the treads themselves are made of rubber, which helps to give this mode more of a realistic feel. Despite appearances, the shovel doesn't move much, and the pistons move even less, in this mode at least. The main problem here is that, well, everything seems kind of cramped. This is at an angle, and so is this. And the pistons don't actually connect to anything. I've had to fit the base in between the undercarriage and the grill panels. Otherwise they just flop out from underneath. Rampage's transformation is really finicky. Before we get to his actual robot mode, let me just show you his third mode. This is his jackhammer mode, which I suppose is a unique bonus mode. Unfortunately it's also a very weak bonus mode. Weak in the sense that he holds together poorly. When you press down on him, he springs back up and the pistons move up and down too. One could argue that that's the mecha life feature. But the backpack disconnects easily once all is said and done. To get to robot mode from here, disconnect the pistons and reconnect them to the chest. Split the front legs, followed by the rear section, and unfold the rear legs. Like his vehicle mode, 
Rampage's actual robot mode looks very menacing. Claws are formed from the rippers, the treads become whips, and he has four legs. Some have commented that he's very crab-like with some of these features, like a homage to Beast Wars Rampage. There are a few more paint apps here, so he doesn't look as bland. Specifically on the front and rear legs, and on the head, which is also a little crab-like in my opinion. Articulation is so-so. Some of it is sacrificed for the jackhammer mode, such as the knees which are on springs. And both hips move up and down in unison. He has movement in the rear legs, the claws, and the shoulders, but he has no elbows, and the head is blocked. Granted that you'd expect an intentionally monstrous looking figure to have abnormal poseability, but in any case, articulation still could be better. The whips also tend to get in the way due to how floppy they are. A last point is that he doesn't hold together any better here. The pistons connect to the chest weakly, and once again, the backpack can come apart easily. In short, he makes a very nice display piece, but play value could be a lot better. After all, the mold itself has a lot of potential. Rampage should have been a Voyager, like the other Constructor Cons. This design is just far too ambitious to work at the deluxe scale. Even if this gets a green and purple recolor, I think carefully before buying this. Next I'm reviewing the TIE Pilot from the Star Wars Crossovers range.